on you. This is aging strong with Andy and Janita. I have to be. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I you know and I love the topic today. You know, mental wellness. I was actually in a conference today uh, do, doing a panel and I I was listening to this panel and to the other panel and we're all talking about mental health or mental fitness which I love, you know, the way they do mental fitness. And today we're going to talk about the strategies for a positive mindset. I hear about it more often than you might think. I know Andy and I think it's so important because I think we have talked about it in past episodes but everything begins with a thought. So the way we think determines how we feel and the way we feel determines the actions that we take and the actions that we take determines our future and our life. So if we have a positive mindset our life is going to be better. And positivity is really so important. This is our viewer mail section to hear what others are are saying about it. And uh, let me put on my glasses to uh, get a little better look here. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, I would have to do the same. <laughs> yeah. This comes from uh, a person by the name of R NFL and it says, "Have you ever had to take a step back from sports because of your mental health?" Uh, let me read the uh let me read what Wanisa had to say about that that question. As someone whose mental health can really fluctuate with the Milwaukee Bucks performances, I've found that having other hobbies outside of sports is really helpful to lean into during rough pit, uh, patches post-season heartbreak. You, you know, the question was like is it okay to have a like to have a step back and And this is about life. Yes, yeah, sometimes we need a break. Sometimes we need to rethink. And I think it is so important to take those moments and the to just think about what's going on and feel all that we feel so we after we heal we come back stronger and healthier you know so yeah it, it's okay to to step back and think about the things that are really important okay this is from uh, CMB 311 uh, the answer their answer is no some frustration anger sadness is normal at times but if it's mm -hmm. actually affecting your day-to-day -day life and is causing you to have harmful urges then for sure you need to take a step back and would likely benefit from talking to a therapist about it. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? Oh, definitely. I I it was actually like b before Andy and I were um, recording, we were talking about, you know, this part and about emotions and how, you know, if you feel something, you have to let it out, definitely. And I was in a panel today and I was talking about that and how you have to seek help if you need to you know it, it it's a mentor it's a family is it a therapist yes i'm pro doing that because i have coaches that has helped me psychologies uh therapies like everything i've done the whole nine yards we're gonna and we're gonna talk about that in a minute here uh because uh, there's a big well-known person in sports who's doing just that is uh the same question uh, have you ever had to take a step back from sports because of your mental health and this from well they deleted the name but it says exercise seriously go for a walk hike or a run uh, it's okay to think about the playoff disappointments while doing your cardio usually by the end of it you're over it and you feel mm -hmm. and you feel good i i love that you know um I, I was doing a talk in a boot camp that I'm doing and it was a two minute talk, you know, developing what um, one of my talks, which is, you know, to empower and energize women to overcome challenges. And one of the things that I realized and three years ago when I when I got divorced, it was a hard time. I was sad. I just wanted to like cry all the time and feeling sorry for myself, but I didn't. And what I did know is that movement meant something really important in getting better. So every day at 7, 7.30 in the morning, I was exercising, even though 
you know, I, sometimes I didn't want to work or didn't want to do other things, but I do two. I did two things: exercising and meditating, and that got me back on my feet sooner than later. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm so glad that you share things like that. Uh, one of the biggest names in uh, in professional uh, sports. Uh, has helped bring mental wellness out of the closet. He is Kevin Love with the Miami Heat. Kevin Love is also a recipient of the Arthur Ashe Courage Award, which recognizes icons. You know, I had a, a panic attack in front of 20,000 plus fans. I had to remove myself quite literally from a game. Um, and I had to show face and, and, you know, pretend I was okay after the fact. And I didn't want to do that anymore. What is it that makes you say, not anymore, if I can help one person, I'm going to tell this part of me? I, I think it was really very soon thereafter, um, meeting with my therapist uh, for the first time. And within our first few sessions, understanding that, okay, you know, I'm not going to compare grief. I'm not. I'm. I'm not weak. There's certain things uh, and trauma within my life that I haven't dealt with, or dealt with. Excuse me. And that you know, that's how I'm going to decide to move forward. In the sporting world, that is not something that people talk about. In fact, uh, he and, and and other comments was talking about even if even if you have a sore finger, your teammates might suspect that you're really don't have what it takes. This is why it's so important what we're going to talk about today is about mental wellness because anxiety is part of that and, and maybe in a different episode we, we get to talk more about that. But today our, our episode is about mental wellness and building a positive mindset. And I love this topic because when I came back to the United States, my friends, they would say, oh, you're toxic positive. I'm like, what is that? And the thing is that I'd rather be positive. And it doesn't mean that I don't get scared or, you know, I have my doubts. But most of the time, I'm building a positive mind. So what do you think about that? Positivity is so crucial. Uh, it's not to say you ignore the troubles in one's life. Yeah, I mean, we, we already talked about this, yeah. right? When, when, when we were talking about the questions. And yes, of course, because and we, we talked about exercise and how, you know, our body releases endorphins and endorphins make us happy. Mm -hmm. That's it. But so talking about mental wellness, mental wellness, Andy, it, it's not just the absence of mental disorders. Like, oh, she's crazy. She's a you know, she's had a mental problem. No, but it's about thriving in daily life. It's about achieving harmony. It's about embracing life with optimism. And it encompasses emotional health, life satisfaction, and the pursuit of fulfilling purpose. And, and I, I, I really love that because I think it took me some time to develop the mental wellness that I have today and I can tell you Andy that in in general I think my life is just amazing just amazing and it is because every day I focus on gratitude I focus on you know developing a positive mindset if I cannot solve a problem it's like you know I'm not gonna be clinging on the outcome or on the problem itself so I have done several things to develop this and I, I don't know like do you do you are you big on mental wellness oh absolutely a hundred percent you look at a guy like Kevin Love who uh, you know makes millions and millions of dollars and he's got a family he's uh, you know he's been a, a superstar all his life mm -hmm. and uh, he goes he has gone through a lot and mm -hmm. a lot of people probably aren't real sympathetic to people like that but because of all of his uh fortune that he's had through through sports and basketball but it shows you that uh everyone in in every walk mm -hmm. of life uh has those kind of issues that uh need they need to resolve yeah and and i think you know as we age 
there are many changes I, and, and i'm not saying oh because we're aging we have so many changes no it could be you know if i'm 20 like if i'm living in high school and i'm going to like there are many changes but in in our case when we age you know things are happening to us like you know maybe I'm, i don't work anymore so there is retirement I start losing loved ones because we're getting older, you know, uh, maybe, you know, everything hurts. I cannot walk the same way or do the same things. So everything that is going on in our life are going to affect our mental health or, or maybe, you know, we, we don't even have family close by because our kids are far away, our grandkids. So we we're not able to see them that much. So there are many things that are happening to us that could affect mental health but i would love to to like if we start talking about the things that we can do to change our mental health for a better one just like and i'm sorry but i'm always gonna say that you know you can see my muscles here uh -huh. muscles it's be it's because i i have exercised since i was born like really all my life and If you wanna, if you wanna be, if you wanna have a positive mindset, you have to exercise your mind. You know, this morning I went, I was at the gym, and uh, they on, on they have a, one of those uh, electric uh, boards, uh, like a TV screen with all the things coming up, and mm -hmm. one of them is uh, uh, mindfulness yoga. Mindfulness is being present in the moment and feeling life with curiosity, and being present in everything that happens when it's happening right that's it that's mindfulness and meditation is a practice of being mindful as well so um many things happen when you're being in the in the present moment first the present moment is the only moment that you have to do something about your life so if you're like we usually spend so much time thinking about the past and the future why did i And stop doing this job am i gonna die anytime soon like all the time and we go you know to the future to the past to the past to the future but the only and the only moment that you can do something about your health about your life is now so i do recommend that you start meditating for example Med meditation has many effects in your body and i i always love to talk when 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 i'm talking about people that are aging just like us well everybody's aging but you know after 50 i mean a lot of things happen with your minds we're talking about the fact that we forget things right when you meditate when you start meditating and every single day your hippocampus is start getting bigger and the hippocampus is the part that memory is stored so you have better memory if you meditate or the prefrontal cortex which is this part of the brain it gets bigger as well and this is the part that makes decision or you know the amygdala which is a part like in the middle of the brain is in charge of fear and emotions and people who meditate the amygdala shrinks so that what that means is that you are going to manage your, your emotions better so a lot of things are going on and this is just the physical part but meditation calms you down it gives you a sense of purpose it lets you know where who you are and um you're better in your mental health which is something that we're talking about because you you start managing your thoughts as well and being aware of the negative thoughts so you, you can change them so that's why i love meditation well don't you think janita that uh people who do yoga and uh Tai Chi, some of the things that we've spoken about before, uh, are on that same direction. Yeah, I mean, yes, and, and that's the principle of yoga and Tai Chi is about being present in the moment. Um, but there are people who don't do yoga or Tai Chi, like I don't. I believe in the, the, the concept of mind-body mm -hmm. because the more I focus on that, the more they kind of work together and uh, I seem to get better on, on things that might be preoccupying my mind too much when i exercise i'm there in the present moment and i can feel like the muscles and the pain or whatever it is but do you do you feel that way that body and and mind connection oh 100 uh, and what it is mm -hmm. is it's the uh fact that you are starting to get in touch 
with how your mind and your body are connected. One of the other things that it's huge for my clients and for me, because I live it every single day, is the gratitude. Gratitude transforms yes. your perspective. And what you should do and what we invite you to do is focus on what you have rather uh, what it's missing and when you focus on what it's missing it's your scarcity mind and you want an abundant mind not any scarcity because scarcity is always going to put you in a negative mindset so one of the things that when i started i, I was doing a lot of like a gratitude gratitude journal every single day write three pages now i don't do that And one of the other things that this American psychologist, Martin Seligman, did, he did a study. And with just this exercise in two weeks, you, you like the, the, the research showed that you could be happier. And what it is, you take a notebook that maybe you can put in your, or, and maybe the cell phone. Like, I'm a very tech person, right? So I don't do writing in things. Well, I, I have some writing here. But what I do is every single day, you can write three things that you're grateful for. And that's going to boost your energy, your mood, your well-being. So, I don't know. For example, I'm grateful today. One, I'm here recording with Andy, making a difference in your, in your world. Two, I'm grateful because I was invited to our women panel. And three, I'm grateful because I have a home and I have light and I don't know, like that's it. Three things. Showing the gratitude. Just one of the many steps that, uh, that people can take. Uh, and I'm sure the list goes a lot, goes on yeah. and on, but that's certainly a good example. Yeah. And w one of the things that I usually, that I usually know that I always do. And when we're getting to an age that maybe we're retired and I, I, I've seen it with, you know, maybe my, my mom, um, some of her friends or my parents' friends, but you stop learning. And one of the things yes. that I do recommend is engage in lifelong learning. Now, if you have the time, Sign up for classes, sign up for a new hobby. This is this is gonna help you in several things, right? One, it's gonna keep your mind sharp, busy, right? Mm -hmm. Second, it's gonna boost your self esteem because you're learning something new. So you're getting better at something new that maybe you didn't know before. So you're gonna say, huh, yeah, I can do this. I can take better pictures. And um and, and I mean, just the fact that you're learning something is going to be good. I, I, we interviewed this girl and she has, um, it's called Fluency Lab. So it's a, she teaches Spanish, right? And she was actually talking about this 75 year old guy that wanted to learn Spanish because, um, the in-laws, they just spoke Spanish, right? So he wanted to do something. And we were talking about the mental and emotional benefits of learning a new language. So every time you're learning, you're, you're being more resilient, right? Uh, you're, you're, you're getting out of your comfort zone. So you're getting, a, you're building a stronger version of yourself. So for me, learning, it should be something that you have to do or that you get to do every day. If you have an opportunity to uh, be studying something and uh, it makes your mind, expands your mind, it gets you thinking maybe not about yourself but other things, yeah, that uh, is certainly makes, makes sense to me. And I, I don't know, Andy, maybe we can talk about like daily habits that people can do to you know to work on the mental fitness and something that i do is like the positive affirmations our affirmations are powerful tools that, that are going to help you build self-confidence um combating negative self-talk 
and what I do, affirmations, they, they're phrases that motivate you, that have to be in, in, in present, that have to be relevant to you, and, and maybe start with I, right? So I am I'm a perfect human being, I love myself just the way I am, I'm healthy, I'm happy, and you do this every day, I'm capable, I'm resilient, whatever it is that is relevant to you, like I have in my cell phone, I have I actually... Um, one of my notes it's affirmations and i have them there and i'm i'm not gonna lie to you i don't read them every day but when i read it i put my heart i close my eyes i feel it as if they were real as if you know i'm healthy like i can do everything in my case um and i'm a highly uh, i'm highly paid keynote speaker you know, because that's where I'm building my career. And if you do this every day, you, you're because you're positive. So remember, and we've talked about it, remember that your brain doesn't know, doesn't distinguish if it is the reality or if it's a thought. So if you start telling your brain, I'm healthy, let's say I'm healthy, I can walk everywhere. I mean, your mind is going to start believing that. One of the things that I speak about uh, when I'm talking to students is uh, you don't have to uh, be the, the latest muscle man or muscle woman or uh, on earth. All you really want is just the basic exercise that makes you healthy. And walking is a great way to start. So it's, it's an affirmation uh, that you've done it. Uh, and I and you can then stay, take it a step further. If you get more into some exercise and fitness like I'm into, you, uh, you get an affirmation of the fact that you uh, went through your routine, you, you, you got it done, you felt good about it. Exactly. And I think that the last thing that I want to mention for a stronger brain, a healthier mindset and a positive mindset is healthy lifestyle choices. Everything that you do to take care of yourself is going to have an impact in your brain. Why? Because if you're putting, if you're taking care of your body, if you're, I mean, we, we already talked about nutrients in our episode two. If you sleep well, if you stay hydrated, everything is going to have an impact in your emotional and mental health. Why? Because you're prioritizing you, because you are the most important person. So when you self-care, you're developing self-love. Mm -hmm. And it's an extension of what we're talking about. Yeah. And I think to recap um, what we, we what we talked today, you're in charge of your mindset. You always have an option. I love this quote, but is. 10% is what happened to us. 90% is how we react to it. So you you can actually train your brain to see the positive, to reframe the situation. If, you know, if... Uh, uh, if if I start saying, hey, I, I'm so lonely, I don't have a partner, uh, I, the love of my life broke up with me, then that's a negative. Or I can say, oh, I'm taking this time. It's so great that I have this time to build my business to work on myself and I do because I'm spending a lot of time with myself and taking care of my body and my mindset and building new things and creating new content just like this so you can always reframe but it's it, it, it's you and so we talked about several things that you can do write three things that you're grateful for exercise Take care of yourself, of your health, because everything is going to have an impact in your health, in your mental and physical and emotional health. Yeah, that kind of goes back to what we were talking about, uh, about positivity. And uh, it all goes back to that at, at some point or another. So if you are enjoying the content and you want to stay updated with our latest videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's a fantastic way to support the channel and ensure you never miss out on exciting new uploads. Yeah, and I would have to say, please 
us leave us a comment right here tell us what you think tell us if if there is a topic that you want us to talk about and if you have any questions and we can add that to the episode and next episode we're going to talk about managing stress and anxiety you know in your later years i can use that <laughs> I know. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Bye, Thanks, Andy. Bye, 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 everybody. Enjoy the content we create and want to be part of our growing community. I have a small request for you. By subscribing to our channel, you'll not only stay updated with our latest videos, but also help us reach more people who might enjoy our content just as much as you do. Your support means the world to us and fuels our passion to keep creating and improving. Thank you for being such an important part of our community.